That, well, Part of the travel. I'm not marking him for it. I know, right? <laughs> Speaking of traveling. Speaking of traveling, the United States is lifting its COVID test requirement for international travelers. So effective tomorrow at midnight, U.S. bound travelers no longer need a negative COVID test to get into this country. So travel already picking up as we head into the summer months. So we want to know how this is going to affect our travel plans. So we're going to our expert, uh, Travel Zoo Senior Editor, Gabe Saglier. Hey, Gabe, how are you? Hello, great to see you again. Did you feel that yesterday, that collective sigh of relief from the travel industry? I when think this so. Word came on, out? on set in LAX, too. <laughs> I think so. So yeah. talk about how robust is travel right now, and do you think that this is going to make it even better? Talking about this surge in desire to travel since the beginning of the year, the reality on the ground has shattered those expectations month to month. Those numbers really have ballooned. And as we've seen, they've, they've driven prices up in a, in a pretty big way. This was the last hurdle. Uh, that the travel industry saw in the way of, uh, as far as getting people to travel either out of the U.S. Uh, internationally or getting international visitors to come in. Because it required people to figure out a way 24 hours before their flight back into the U.S. to get that antigen test and test negative or get stuck out there as thousands have uh, for an extra three, five days or more. So with that now gone as of uh, midnight tonight, um, we're going to see uh, that, that uh, I think is certainly going to spur up greater interest in travel internationally by Americans. And the uh, U.S. Travel Association predicting another 5.4 million people uh, will be making their way to the states before the end of the year, resulting in a $9 billion uh, spend. So uh, a big boost in the arm. But, of course, that's going to continue to strain the travel reality that we're seeing out there right now. What is the reality for travelers right now, Gabe? Where are people traveling to? Well, right now, the darling of international travel is Europe. Uh, uh, last month, for the first time since the pandemic began, the search term Europe, uh, surpassed Mexico on our website uh, at TravelZoo.com. So clearly people are looking at Europe now uh, because we're looking at European airfare in some cases arriving or sometimes below some domestic uh, airfare. So all of a sudden Europe has become sort of a darling of people trying to squeeze that in before the summer is out. We've seen Germany, Italy and Spain waive entry requirements just in the last couple of days for American travelers. So again, that's become, um, it just makes it that, that much easier. Uh, Mexico and the Caribbean will still be very hot this summer because it's simply a value destination for folks making these last minute summer plans. The biggest values, I think, in Asia, Asian travel out of the U.S. still down about 70, 75 percent from 2019 numbers. Uh, and that's creating some some pretty good value out there. Uh, but we're just looking in the other direction right now. Europe really is going to be quite hot over the next several months. All right. Let's talk about um, your top pick. Is there a specific place that you think is the best place to go? Well, the number one European destination, this is a sign that, you know, we get back to traveling again. We're seeking the places we know and love, and that is Italy. So Italy, clearly, uh, sort of the top destination we're, we're, we're looking at as American travelers. Uh, we just published this uh, this week. This is Il Borgo di Vicine. Uh, this is a gorgeous estate there in Chianti in the Tuscany region of France, dating back to the 16th century. Uh, this has seen a lot of activity in the last 24, 48 hours. Uh, on our website that uh, you can stay here for four nights through November uh, for uh, prices starting at $14.49 for a four night stay here in one of these beautifully remodeled cottages surrounded by the vineyards and the olive trees. You're about an hour outside of Florence, which in my opinion is the greatest city in the world. Well, you know, you must be talking to Olivia because she's all over trying to book an Italy trip. So, yeah, uh, yeah, she's the that's actually everybody's. the surprise that we have. <laughs> Olivia's here to give you. A, a, oh, is that a right? Ticket. You're gonna love. You're gonna love Il Borco de Vicine, Olivia. But yeah, Italy, Italy is hot. Greece is hot. Yeah. France, uh, Ireland, uh, and uh, Germany starting to and Portugal. Obviously, so, again, these quintessential Western European destinations. If you're looking to travel there before the end of the summer, into the fall season, now would be the time. Uh, to book that airfare and those vacation packages. All right, so um, I'm, I'm looking here on the prompter. Uh, you found a great Caribbean spot with an exciting name as well. Uh, what is it? Is this the uh, lodge like the, at Jaguar Reef? The lodge at uh, Jaguar uh, Reef. So if you're looking at sort of tropical destinations south of the border, this is in Belize. Interestingly, the only Central American country with English as its official language. So just that much easier for us to travel down there. Uh, and all you need is uh, a negative uh, COVID test uh, for entry, whether you're vaccinated or not. Uh, this is a beautiful property in Hopkins. It's sort of on the southeastern stretch of Belize, overlooking the Caribbean Sea, uh, three nights in a thousand square foot deluxe suite with its own plunge pool. 675 uh, for travel through uh, October. So again, for the last minute uh, summer planners, all of a sudden Belize, places like Costa Rica offering some good value on the ground.
Far Reef. We like it. All right, for more information and some pics from Gabe, you can visit TravelZoo.com slash TV. There's the information for you on your screen. Gabe, don't go away. We want to give a shout out to Grayson. Uh, cheers to your eighth grade oh. grad. Look at that. He's heading to high school. Go, we go, love go. So it. Proud Great of family picture. Yeah, he graduated yesterday from eighth grade at uh, Colina Middle School in Thousand Oaks. Fantastic school. The team there loves the KTLA Morning Show. Uh, and Grayson now moves on to high school. They grow up so fast, don't they? They do. I'm telling you, he's out, he's so tall and handsome. That's fantastic. He'll be asking for a trip to Italy in oh, no man. time. Yeah, just wait. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. It's happening. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gabe. We'll Gabe. talk to you soon.